Mouse, this is their pick. They're gonna have to win Ancient if they want to force us onto a third map. That would be Mirage. That would actually be a cool map to watch. So let's see if they can do it. You mentioned Yukinder. OC, I think, was, for me, the standout, just given the way things have gone for him lately. He was the that closer, was for sure. Huge. Yukinder, this time, is going to play toward Pillar and Watch Cave at the same time. So, dual obligation. Smoke in front of his teammate. He is alone, looking at the site. They're going to try and push that back in, though. Yukinder's going to start it all off. He's still alone, though. No chance to repeat. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Dexter's just absolutely destroyed OC. And Nav stayed back behind that smoke the whole time. Didn't try and use the aggro to bait himself into the situation. So, the bomb will go down as a result, and he's going to look back toward the cave. He's going to work with Nitro as well. They could potentially go for the boost off stairs down toward ramp, but that means they need to get rid of Zershin first. Not happening yet. Zershin's got both instead. Nitro pulls one back. Zershin might look for a third in this round. It's Torzi instead to get it. It's a great, powerful post plant set up for Mal's after the bomb goes down. I think Naf actually tried to come through that smoke. I think he was held back by some covering fire from the Glocks, and obviously when Yukinder goes down, no reason for Naf to try and force the issue. It's really the kill onto OC that put Mouse in such a powerful position. This bumps all around. Mouse is on the board early. Yep, first pistol for them, actually. They took the second round by on Inferno. And then lost the third. Lost the third, and then... And got spanked. Wow, well, uh, yes, and then it's 11 for half, but then in the second half as well, they went down two rounds before scoring again. Yeah, this is the first lead they had in the series. Okay, don't... You don't have to put it that way. James. It's only been okay. one map, to be we fair. We made the point already. <laughs> just really want to... Just really want to hit it home. Dexter, nice flying UMP, and Alish cannot find the follow-up. Dexter's on 61 health. Two for one trade, taking control of Jaguar. Still does well, though, to get away with that first kill for Alish. Gives them somewhat of a fighting chance at, Whoa, at these ranges. I was going to say Nitro can get one shot toward middle, but he gets removed. Deleted. Zershin off to a great start. Fourth kill for him. And OC's left with the scout in a one-on-four. Might have a chance to find this Galil. I don't know if we'll be able to pick it up. Oh, the sweet. HP as well. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a kill. Missed the opportunity, and now he's being hunted. He knows it. I think he went for the headshot is the problem, because he may not have known the HP situation there. And it's, yeah, the body shot's obviously a lot easier. That's why oppers go for them. But Deagle in hand, crosshair placement. Doesn't matter. Zushin goes for a bit of a crouch on the peak. JDC even tries to go for a wall bang onto him. 2 nothing for Mouse. 5-0. For Zershin, nice start, as you mentioned, 225 ADR as well. That's uh, that's lights out, that's good Huge. stuff. Yeah, it's massive. Jumping UMP for the entry, Elysia only able to get frozen to clean him up off Yukinder's damage. And now Mal's get a little bit of a easier time of things. A P250 picked up on Yukinder, 5-7 on Elysia. There's one soul flashbang onto Nitro, uh, all over towards the B bomb site. So they're gonna try and find a timing. And Nitro's actually lined up in Donut, so they're gonna get aggressive. They wanna take down Dexter as he tries to control lane and controls towards Jaguar. There's the flashbang, there's the peak, but better trades for Mal's. Towards the... Tag down to 47. Zershin again, though, to find Nitro. Very good. And gets removed, though. Yukinder and Naf with a good crossfire setup. They bring this back to a two-on-two. -two. Guns available as well. Yukinder's going to run out and take the first one. Tells Naf it's clear to do so, and he'll get away with one as well. They don't have armor to work with those, but they still have them. That's the key. Yeah, and they know Frozen was in the B bomb site earlier. He gained. A, he got a kill up on uh, on ramp towards the bomb site, so they have to have that idea. So look at the flank coming in from Yukinder. This is going to take a lot of time, but maybe if he can hit the timing properly, this might be brutal. There's a real chance Liquid steal this round away. Good shot from Frozen. No chance for you, Kinder, back in. Naf, I think he's going to bail out of this one completely. He'll run way over toward the banana position on the map. Respectable effort. Good job from Mal's avoiding the danger. That got uh, into a sticky situation. They're going to go up 3 to nothing. Naf looking for some exit kills at the end of the day. And he's got one. Wow, That's frozen. Enough. Yeah, take one more away. And this is all of a sudden not too shabby. Good shot from JDC. But that's a costly victory for Mouse. They do have plenty of money on the T side at the moment, so no huge worry at this point. And Liquid's going to buy up. Op is out immediately in the hands of OC. Op is out immediately in the hands of Torji as well. Yes, absolutely. And that will 
change the complexion of the start of this game as well. We'll see if it, it limits the, the motion that Zershin's had because he's had pretty much free reign of his position at the B site, walking in through cave, walking down toward the boxes. This time he's going to go toward the elbow, and that's where you normally see and do see a lot of utility already thrown. Yeah, he's going to be an important player to, to lock down and shut down early on because we've obviously seen how aggressive and how assertive and dynamic he can be in middle on his own to take this kind of control. He's got Nitro to contend with and Donut for the moment, who's going to be smoked off. Going to give access over to stairs, utility being spent. Now's at the moment in a 1 2 2 default. But this is prime real estate to control, especially for a heavy volume fragger like Zertion up at 7 and 1. Great position. Absolutely the case. And OC's. Oh no, walking right into this. He's pre scoped. Maybe senses something. Elise, at least with a good start. OC coming around the corner. Zershin ready. OC gets the shot instead. They absolutely had some idea, but are they aware that Dexter <gasps> is standing with an aid out? That's going to give Elise the angle from Donut. Oh, some really unfortunate timings for Malz in this round. They had the control, they had the positions they wanted, but obviously, one player going down forced Exertion to make his move a little bit earlier than he wanted to. OC is able to grab that one, and the nade in the hands of Dexter spelled his, his doom as well. 2v5. And if Liquid can get out of this without taking too many losses, without giving anything over to Frozen and JDC, they're going to be very pleased. First gun round with five players surviving would all of a sudden boost some of the money behind him. It would be a massive victory on two levels. 15 seconds. I think Miles might just let this one slip away. No hunting going on for Frozen and JDC. They've got the funds to replenish utility. They'll need to drop a weapon over to Torji. That shouldn't be any big issue. And they're pushing forward as well. The AWP picked up at the end of it and Frozen immediately puts it to work. So Liquid on the board. They get their first round. They lose one more at the end and the AWP recovered for Mouse. Not the worst situation in terms of losses because we already know they've got some money built. Yeah, and even even just one player going down at the end of the day wasn't wasn't terrible. There's a real opportunity as that gun gets swapped out for Yakinder to cause some cause some issues. Good shot from Elise. That's the one that forced Zershin into that play, which put him right into the waiting arms of OC's op. Round five. OC looking around the edge of the smoke in middle. He's got Nitro for support once again, and Donut, who's also going to be able to support towards the ape bomb site where Elise is ready and waiting. And there are bodies for Mal's to head in this direction. He's waiting behind the box, chance to peek on this. They're not going to check that either. It's not it, it, It's not uncommon, but at the same time, it's not frequented enough that it's the first place you think of. And as they go in quietly, he's just going to wait on this. Goes out, first shot successful, Torsi down. He swings, he knows they're both inside of the site. He has all three dead to rights. He'll fall desertion, but man, oh man, what a job done. And the patience pays off for Johnny. I used to call him Young Johnny. It's not Johnny not Jabs, baby. Anymore. I like that, Johnny Jabs. That's his nickname from childhood. Is it actually? Yeah, he's a black belt in, I think, like uh, Taekwondo or Karate. Nice. So, yeah. It doesn't surprise me I, at all. I, I got that for you, Johnny Jabs. Nice. Tiny guy could probably kick my ass. OC, waiting as well for the repeat. Not going to get the shot that time, but he does get away from death, so it's not going to fall to a two on two just yet. Zershin wants to chase this. He knows the situation that the damage is there. The problem is that leaves the bomb down for longer. Yeah, and also, I mean, they don't have the manpower to really protect Frozen. Like, Zershin in this position, it, ooh, he's kind of smoked off by a teammate. OC's got to be careful, but Yakinder moving in towards Donut is going to make this really difficult. Good shot from OC as he comes through the smoke, and that makes this a desperate scenario. Nath cleans it up. Three to two. Second round for Liquid in a row. Naf looking lovely behind the bench, if we call it that. I guess that's typically the sports term, but behind the troops. Yeah, this was so good from Elise. Like I say, that box, it's kind of like the similar position on Inferno to the sandbags at ramp. The difference being it's not as commonly occupied, and it's a little bit more difficult to spend utility there on a map like Ancient because you need so much in the site itself, so it often goes overlooked. You gotta say as well, I mean, that, that, those are the kind of plays that Elijah has been busting out throughout this tournament. We mentioned it on Inferno. He's kind of been overshadowed by some of the hard carry performances from Yakinder, but uh, Elijah's been there for impact and been there to pick up pieces throughout this group stage to get him to the playoffs. Mop up round for Liquid. They do lose one. Elijah's already got nine frags. We're only six rounds completed. 
Uh, yeah, but it was more, you know, in situations where things weren't quiet, which was which was frequently, because as you mentioned, uh, a losing coach, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Had to try and get some energy flowing. Dexter with the flash, Zershin waiting with the angle as well. OC's gonna go in on this. Doesn't quite have this. Oh my god, what? Okay. No way. He's gonna He's be... already looking for the close score and he just guesses while blind. It's the... That's foolish. Zershin's gonna be so mad when he sees that on the replay. He probably already knows what's happened. He can probably already play it out into his head. Yakinder with some good information and good damage. That flashbang forces him back, but it makes him very nervous. It splits up Torji. He doesn't want to give up the bomb. Nitro's gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. He knows the position, the spray is not there for him. The AK wins out, good opening from JDC provided. And now Liquid's got to scramble, but there's only one player. Elish has no idea, he's gonna walk right into Dexter. Naf, already trying to swing around, sees the shots toward middle, but Frozen on the off angle, holding in Cubby, he's gonna find Yakinder. So this gives a bit of maroon for Frozen to work with and a lot less manpower to Liquid. They're down 4-2 in this situation. Yeah, one kill by JDC just cracks open this map. It forces everyone from Team Liquid to respond and they crumble oh, under all the various lurk positions that Mal's had gained across the map. JDC had a little bit of a quiet Inferno, I want to say, for what I'm normally used to seeing him during this rise of, of the Mal's team. Tough loss to take after the incredible shot from OC. Still, because they won three rounds in a row with uh, convincing fashion, they've got money liquid to recover and to drop weapons over if needed. Don't think it will be. OC still just desperately looking for a gap of anything to find. Keep that gun in his hands, but maybe get some utility out of Mal's as well. They're going to take back the lead, so four to three. And yeah, they don't have the cash to hunt, so she's safe. You can see nobody's budging across the map for, for Mal's. Let's go Yeki's money right now, too. He's rich. Man, it's not bad. Maybe think. he can just buy a bigger monitor now. Yeah, maybe he needs one of those monitors that, like, is curved, just wraps around his face. Yeah. I think Swivel in that chair. I think he's basically playing in VR. <laughs> Oh, this is gross. This is such a nice shot from from OC while he's blind. But I mean, you could see, awesome. you could also see he's hard clearing this angle, right? As he goes a little bit deeper, like th that's where he's like looking to take a fight. And as he just goes to clear another corner, he knows what's coming after the flash blinded. It's just the accuracy of the flick over is so impressive. Blinded again, but Molotov extinguished by his teammate. That's good support provided by Nitro. Yakinder is going to have an opening kill onto Frozen. Flash, OC's gonna activate himself out of that corner. He thought about it. I think he saw a fraction of it, realized he was a little bit late on the shot, so no need to give his position away. Yakinder's gonna take down Dexter. So off to a 2-0 start in the round for Team Liquid. JDC, though, just walking into B. Could catch, the okay, no, Nitro's got his back turned toward B. He knows the situation. He's aware of the fact that it could have gone that way. They're gonna rotate out of top middle as well. You'd expect that goes to CT Connector. JDC gonna keep going through, and I think they're even gonna look for that. Doesn't matter if they do or not. He's got OC down. But it's still a four on two for Liquid. Yeah, great shot from JDC, but still plenty of opportunities. There's no smoke for Mouse. There's just Molotovs. Luigi might get forced into the open. Tucks himself tighter into the corner. He's got a swing, and he takes the advantage to get himself safely over towards the plant boxes. Gonna use that headshot angle. JDC gets one more before going down, and it's all on Torji. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, maybe don't jump up to that one. Naf doesn't like people who jump. Four kills for Naf. Getting into this game, working his way up the scoreboard. Op recovered as well, passed over to OC, so don't have to reinvest in that. An easy recovery. Yeah, it's worth noting on the Ops as well, uh, OC's 4-4. Four and four. Okay, hasn't been as lights out as the last few rounds on the previous map, but Torzi's only at 1-5. and five. So despite the battles winning rounds, when they've gotten the guns out, when we have gone to the Ops situation, that battle has not been favorable for him. Yeah, we'll see how that battle develops as the game goes on. we still got seven rounds to play in this opening half. Zagershin's already taken massive amounts of control in middle. Trying to boost up, and actually, Zershin might have heard the footstep. I don't know if he would have known that it's a boost, but he definitely has, and you would already assume someone's going to be in Donut. This time, he tries to pick up the pace and get aggressive instead of pausing at the top of the stairs, and Naf has him. However, that is one of the B defenders who's usually positioned at that bomb site. so Mal's not taking advantage of it just yet, not picking up the pace. Yakinder slides out, find Dexter. That's an easy kill. He's not looking, and all of a sudden, the B bomb site's going to be so tough for difficult to take. There's no utility left. No flashbangs, no smokes to block off any choke points, and Yakinder and Naf have a huge crossfire set up, although Yakinder's gonna give it up for the swing. Naf. Trying to duck under that one. Frozen doesn't care. He's gonna take him down. A three on three, but the HP not favorable to Mal's the fact that they get the bomb plants. 
certainly is. The liege will work his way back in through the cave. Smoke goes off to the short lane, and he spots, but fires and misses. Even goes for the wall bang on a very low HP Torzi. They're so nervous, though. They're so timid to try and peek. The nade's going to do excellent damage onto JDC. The gun does better on Frozen, and the Liege goes back for more. He might find all three, because Torzi, oh, he's so vulnerable. Manages to, oh, well, hang on. That 9 HP a problem. OC's on the AWP, and he had to hit the shot. He went to the 5-7 instead. Yeah, call came out that he was low on health, but that got way, way too close. Almost a 1v3 for Torzi. Very, very difficult round. That was a five on three where Mouse had no utility. That smoke they drop is picked up off of one of the bodies. That's almost given up by Yakinder's aggression. Goes for that wide swing, goes for the committed peak. When he had the crossfire set up, and this makes it difficult. Naf as well can't land a kill. That gave a lot of control. And once again, we're going to say Alicia's name as the man who recovers the situation. Important double kill. OC with the big return serve. Aliege again, as you see, as soon as he goes down, making sure that information gets relayed. He's pretty intense with his comms, isn't he? Yes, in those, in those hectic situations, he makes sure everyone knows what he's calling. Full set piece towards the A bomb site. Smokes are out. Nitro's the point of contact. He's blinded. He's dropped completely. Once again, is called upon in a tough situation. JDC inside the bomb site. Mid is clear. They have that intel. There's Elysia with one kill. Yakinder goes down, trades the whole way through. Mouse is loving this. Oh, they get aggressive. Again, Blind Naf gets one. The flashbangs just don't matter. Liquid find ways to get the kills, but look at the HP on Elysia. OC's going to have to swap out to an M4. Absolutely. 10 HP for Elysia. OC's been pretty confident in his AWP, though, so he wants to stay with it. There is guns beside him. Nope, not going to do it yet. What's the flash to go in? Double position because they want to trade on this. Tries to bang in. It's going to be OC that hits the first shot. Dexter has not moved. And Elysia lining up. Doesn't matter. Hits the headshot, man. 10 HP. The Deagle couldn't get it done. 6 to 4 for Liquid. Nice little attempt at the bait and switch, but that's very close. Mouse has now put a lot of pressure on Team Liquid in these rounds where they don't they don't have a whole lot to work with. It's a 5, or it's, excuse me, it's 6 to 1 run for Team Liquid, but th the last two rounds, two players survived this one, one player survives the previous. Mouse is feeling really happy about where they've got the economy of this CT side. One reset in this, and Mouse all of a sudden is gonna have all the rounds necessary for a powerful second half. If that's a Tech-9 instead of a Deagle, that actually might be a one round for, for Mouse. All he needed, it feels like, was one kill. Give him an extra second to have to find you, and you might just win that clean based off the bomb timer. And they're down toward the cave position, gets up on top of the scaffolding, trying to get away from utility that might be thrown in their direction. Holding out position. Frozen's actually come through and found him. He's going to find Naf as well. Excellent job to watch the smokes. And two-man advantage again for Mao's Elige. Okay, all right. Well, if at first you don't succeed, and the definition of insanity, all mixed into one. Just go for it, and he will. He's going to get frozen back. Oh, but Nitro's not ready for that peak, that fast peak from Zersh, and Elysia's going to come over, but Torji's there with the off. They're picking him apart everywhere they go. Nicely done from Mouse. And this is this is the two rounds, when the guns have come out, the two rounds that Mouse have won have been based off things like, you know, first it was JDC getting the entry at the A bomb site onto Nitro, which caused everyone to shift from Team Liquid and get aggressive and push up in their positions on the map and then get picked off by Mouse. Now it's Frozen providing two entries and it's Team Liquid scrambling to get aggressive and find information and shut things down and once again getting picked off. So, I mean, uh, it's simple to say the entries are the recipe to success, but Mouse outside of that have not really been able to have a whole lot of success or any success really. So OC hits, sits in the corner. It's a one on four. I think he's just going to hold this AWP a little bit more. The bomb is due to go off any second. And again, not a lot of money on the mouse side, so they're not going to chase too aggressively. They're just clearing angles to be absolutely certain. Not a lot of money on the... Ooh. 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 Ah, oh, that's a problem. Shiza. He's keeping himself up. He's gone down towards he hits the shot. He nearly got one and got away. He gave himself up instead. That one's brutal, because I was going to say, there, there's no money. There's not a whole lot of money on Team Liquid, but OC with the off would have been able to drop two M4s over. Now it's a little bit of a more dire situation. He can either invest in the op or he can invest in dropping rifles over to teammates. All a question of where Liquid want to go with this one. Beautiful entrance provided by Frozen. Beautiful flashbang from Torji. Eesh. That one sucks. 
And they're, they're stoked that, look, they already knew the round was won. They knew the bomb yep. was going off. They're stoked they got that off out of his hands. That's a win. But no, now you go back to the two losses they had, the 1v1 loss that OC wins, and then the, the 1v2 that couldn't be won by JDC with the Deagle, and all of them, Dexter with the Deagle perhaps, but the money is, is now put Liquid in a position to be reset. Huge round for Liquid to sustain and keep fighting back. Shot from Elise, he's down to 16. Off the initial exchange. Liquid under pressure now for not the first time in this half, but the first time in a few rounds despite the close scoreline because the money has fallen and slipped away. Naf's limited to just using a fake weapon. And the rest, although there's three M4s, are not super buffed in terms of utility. They've already thrown a lot of defensive smokes, a lot of offensive ones out in middle as well, and that's going to let Zershin get a lot closer as he pushes up toward Red Room and it's a lesion there on Red HP that's going to try and hold this. Tough angle, 16. Timing is everything on that. If the gray screen becomes a factor, a liege can easily win that exchange. Yeah, and remember, the first, the thing that made Zershin make his play earlier from this similar position was one of his teammates going down. Who liege, liege is going to push up into it. Yeah, the barrel shows. The Kinder's here. There's two players in donuts as well. They're going to be wrapped around. Nitro falls. OC is able there to be there with the trade. And now it's all on Nav. And he's got your favorite gun. He's got the FAMAS. It's not a weapon. It's, it's not a real gun. It's just a pea shooter. I've had super soakers with more power than that thing, but see Kinder smoked off, can't do anything better with his M4, so the bomb will go down in favor of Mouse Sports. Flashes in and they want to push this Frozen, stuck behind the pillar, but he has a lot more room than formerly on this map, so he can dance and dive and pick his battles to try and shut him out, and he'll base that off the information that Torzi has looking in from the ramp. Oh my goodness, Frozen tagged up, Naf's got JDC. I take it back, that super soaker's apparently a water cannon, baby, because he's got two. Torzi falls as well, and it's seven to five. That's a very, very nice retake from Le Team Liquid. Uh, Yukinder with the spam puts a lot of pressure on. Flashbang takes the op angle away, systematically clearing out corners before they're ready to go for the peak, and Miles had nothing. That trap did not get sprung. Liquid's able to get the kills before they have to enter into the bomb site. That spam forces the peak out. Frozen knows as soon as the reload comes, more spam is going to be there, and it's going to take him down. He's forced into a play, and good support from NAF. Op recovered, op passed over. Round 13. We're doing just enough. Just enough to hold on in each of these situations. So Torzi again on the op. Up to six now. Apparently I call him out and he does quite well. Five kills since that time. OC starting off this round brilliantly. He has two. He knows there's another one up close. Sees the jump and he's going to hit that as well. Oh, nearly gets the reset for Frozen. But you can do. And Nitro close it out. 8-5. Fair play. The tip of the spear. OC shuts down the rush before it can even begin. Wonderful triple kill for him with the op. Three round lead for Team Liquid. And man, since the guns came out, this has been dominant. Eight to two run with the Intel Grand Slam on the line as well. Not wrong about that. I, I, I'm loving the, 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 the playoffs right now and everyone having a chance. I really do think that the way things have played out, everyone's getting a little more comfortable land. Is Urshan didn't see that? I thought he would have seen a leash between the smokes. He might have, but I don't think he wanted to give away his position with, with a, a situation where you can't really confirm that you have a clean fight around those smokes. OC tries to fire through gap he's hit his movement therefore limited and it's a nade to take him down of all things as he tries to get away nitro's gonna have similar problems jdc runs him down not before he could find zershin but it is the advantage firmly with mouse sports in this round it's another time though zershin i mean we've seen him kind of get up to that advanced position towards the red room i think three times in this game we've really seen it and it's worked out for him twice he's been able to to find at least one frag on the rotations on the movement when initial contact is made Naf sliding in 1v3. Not a lot of money for Liquid going into the final round of this half. Oh no. Is he going to go for it? I don't think he was spotted. Dexter didn't see him. Uh oh. No. That's way. a bit early. That's a bit early for it. Yeah. Yeah, the smoke gave that away, unfortunately. He might have been a bit better to just walk up to that. And then they may have still turned when they heard him get on the, the wires. But either way, it's now uh, sixth round, so 8-6. What's the half going to be, Jason? Are we going 9-6 or 8-7? I, th I mean, there's a real opportunity for 8-7. I'm going to take, take it 8-7. Okay. I think Miles is going to get this last one. Two M4s brought into the fight for Team Liquid. They've got no kits, very, very sparse on nades, SMG on NAF, and upgraded pistols on Nitro and OC. So a bit of a scuffed buy. But they do, it looks like they do want to change up the defense a little bit to control mid more convincingly so they don't have to worry. 
Yakinder getting aggressive, knowing he has to give them an advantage of some kind with the weaker weapons. Torz is inside of the site, though. Nah, spots him, comes out from the cubby. That can be sprayed, remember, from the other side, but there's no one back there that could do so. Zershin's leveled it himself. He's gone low on HP, though, and with a nade out, he thinks mid's clear. They give it up, they rush too soon, and all of a sudden, walking out, Yakinder gets not only one, but... 15 frags was huge. Frozen with 12 kills was huge. Pistol round, second half, and we got fast play towards Donut. Homer Simpson loving it. ADC trying to back away, smoke down in his face. He tries to fire in before that blooms, and he can't do it. He can't find shots. In fact, no one even gave him that opportunity. He fired between them all every time. The Molotov bought time to, for the rotation to come over, but they can't go through the smoke. Actually, they're shifting back. I, don't, I think they thought that Team Liquid fell away, so now they're like a slinky. They're coming right back in reaction. Bomb's going to be planted as a result. Porzy. He's given his spot up inside of the palace position. Remember, it only has that single entrance now, so it's a lot more limiting. It's a lot easier to hold him off. He can't swing to take down the former planter, who was Naf, the man formerly known. Oh, my as lord. Kinder gets removed as well. Torzi's in. This retake is on. They're a firing squad, at least. They're all going to body block. They're just going to hold this defuse. No chance. It's going to be double pistols for Mouse. What a god tier flashbang. I think Liquid might have dropped way too many players back into Donut. You can see three X's there, and one's deep in A main as well. They actually had Nobody trying to challenge at the point of retake through the choke points whatsoever. It was only Yakinder who planted the bomb who stuck around inside the A site. I know the, the mod check right now in the poll, they're trying to, you know, the open mic, hot mic situation, but everyone that answers they play with an open mic is absolutely lying. I'm glad to see it 74% no, because most of you idiots in matchmaking don't even use your microphones, okay? <laughs> oh, get him. Fight the good fight. Get him, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Stick him. Well... Two AKs on the board for Team Liquid. Elise going to be aggressive. Ooh, that's a dangerous tap. But they've given away the game. Now they know an AK is in the field of play. Yakinder has the other one. Solo towards the B-bomb side. He's got Nitro in support. He wants to follow up fight, and he's got it. Controls the recoil. Nitro sees one more pushing ramp, and you better believe Yakinder is willing to take that fight. Poor Z. Trying to slide down that wall for the off angle. Liquid looking to respond with a second round by. This could be huge. Torzi, as well as aware of the situation and trying not to give too much away, but wants the next kill early enough that they're not falling and fumbling inside of the site. He wants to shut down Liquid before they get there, but he's spotted already. Naf from four, they're gonna walk out, and the trade occurs in favor of OC. Four on two. They're just gonna continue pressing forward. Maus is rotating the second player here. There's a chance they've got They've got the manpower, and they've got a flashbang. Brilliant utility usage and a better kill from Frozen. Way to stand tall. Triple kill for him, and the bomb is down, and this one slips away from Team Liquid. They had a great start to this. What a recovery. Not done yet, though, because Elise has position with an AK. He has head armor as well. Bomb's still there in front of him, and both players trying to protect the JDC got stuck. There was nowhere to go except to try and take the fight, and it's 10 to 7. Wow, what a recovery for Elise. That is brilliant. Liquid had all the advantages in the round in the world, and Frozen rips it away from them, but you can't stop Johnny Jabs. 1v2 victory at the end of the day, but again, it's your kinder opening things up. 10-7, and that one hurts. If you're Mouse, that one is painful after this shooting from Frozen. I think JDC just trying to catch him, maybe snoozing, thinking that there's no world in which JDC gets aggressive. Solid win. The return by, return investment from Mouse Deagles, armor. Again, Elise is going to find a kill in middle. That's frozen to go down as he tries to jump up. And Yakinder activated next. What a one-two punch. Fantastic start for Liquid. Zershin. Shot down, just barely missing out on a man that was standing up on the ledge. Elise, meanwhile, in toward B. Nade's going to go deep toward that palace position, but he's caught off. Zershin gets the shot to him with the Deagle. Converges with Torzi overall for the damage. Next in line is Ender, spotted as well inside of the donut, and I think he'll back off the drive through. Ooh, nice shot from OC. Or, not really actually that nice at all. He just. No, run a gun, but I get your point. Nice kill. Yeah, great job. <laughs> Wasn't anything impressive at all. But it works, and that's going to get the bomb down for NAF. That's the important aspect. So. 7 Eleven, Matt. 7 Eleven. Get some smoothies. Big gulps, huh? There's slurp Slurpees there? Slurpees, is yeah. that what it is? Okay. Sorry, we don't have a lot of 7-Elevens in Canada, you know? Yeah, what is that weird coffee shop you guys got? Tim, Tim Hortons. Hortons. That's not the... That's they've like got Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. yeah, they have, because it was bought by Brazilians. 
That's not a knock on Brazil. Okay, I'm just saying say. it's not Canadian anymore. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right. All right? Let's yep. be clear. It's ruined, saved, vac, believe. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was that was close. I am going to come to Brazil still. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. But no, it's, uh, yeah, 7-Eleven would be the equivalent of, like, our Circle K, I guess, which is okay. everywhere. We have world. some of those in the Couched States. Hard in uh, in sure. Quebec. We have, uh, we have some in uh, different parts of the, the United States. We have a come and go. I'll bet you do. We'll just leave that one there. Yeah, let's get back to the Counter-Strike on Four that note. round lead for Team Liquid. And we got still two MAC-10s on the board. We got two AKs and a Galil for Mouse. They did recover an AK-47 at the end of the day, but mostly fighting with scraps. It's really only the Zertian who can provide anything. And, I mean, he's had, a, he's had a good game. 16 kills from 17 on Frozen. This is one of the guys you'd want that rifle to be in his hands. Unfortunately, it's over at the 8 bomb site where Team Liquid is nowhere close to for the moment. Or Z flashed in toward the ramp position. No chance to get the shot down. Dexter's gonna rotate back over to watch the cave, make sure anyone walking through will be punished. AK to work with the Molotov burning brightly, fervently in the sights. Dexter's still holding off on that close angle for it. You can is ever, ever slightly edging in. Barely touches Torzi, but with the AK, it's enough to push him off the angle, and that bomb is therefore gonna take the invitation to go up the ramp as the smokes go down on the lane, and OC baiting Dexter in with the smoke, is able to get the shot as well in the MAC-10. Torzi is a removed, bomb to be planted. They're still sticking around, Mouse, to see if they can uh, find anything, if they can open something up, an opportunity for this AK-47 to turn the tides. It's super unlikely, and I think now Mouse is going to start shifting back. Yeah, you can see it on the minimap. They're just deciding to save, protect the AK, but Naf is on a mission. Whoa. Oh. Short one. Yeah, that mission didn't go very well, did it? Was it mission impossible? <laughs> I was trying to find a way to work that one in there, but... I'll just go straight for I it. I know, yeah. you really... I was just like, nah, no finesse. No, brute force it. Yep. Gentlemen, but not gently. Liege takes down JDC. Gets tagged at 24 on that. Getting quite far removed from the bomb here, but uh, they seemingly are aware of the fact that there's no one near it. And it'll go 12 for Liquid on the explosion of the bomb at B. Five round lead now, but the guns are going to come out for miles. That AK-47 is going to help massively down the road. Not a huge impact in this round, but it will maybe help them drop an AWP in the future, drop to a teammate who's out of money in the future. I was looking to get started, but gun rounds have not been in their favor throughout this game. We mentioned in the first half, it was a 9-3 to three run once the fourth round, once both teams started getting rifles out on the board. Molly's well, going down. Bottom mid and elbow covered off. Flash goes far. Naft trying to swing in. Look for a position. Elise, she's trying to do the exact same. And on that note, Zershin's gonna smoke off the boxes, and he might actually work toward this ledge position if they're occupied or too occupied, that is, toward middle, but no one really in position to support him with a flash, so he's gonna think better of that. This will be the liege all day to work up middle. Huge round in the context of the money right now as well for Mouse. You could be at 14-7 and in a world of trouble after this. Yep, exactly right. No, he's got the kill. Alish was just turning away, but a great headshot onto JDC. Now, there is one more. Frozen has still gone undetected and unseen. This is so risky. Oh, wait, there's no one looking? There's, oh, dear. So, how do you have two in a boost? You should have one looking each way. Surely, at least ready to trade on that. Dexter does get it, but Nitro's right there. Oh, uh, what a blunder. I would expect more activity or more more assertion in that position because as soon as you well, see the top player, you know there's two instantly. There, there's two angles to that boost. Like you can peer on the right side of those default boxes towards the B ramp, which is obviously what he's looking at. And obviously, as we saw, eventually you can slide out to the right and peer towards cave. But yeah, that's that was a long time to allow Team Liquid to get into that. There's a missed timing on when you check back to the other side. Yeah, absolutely. Because they got a lot of, they gained a lot of ground. They should have never been able to get that close without spotting it out. Brutal. Naf looking for the shot on Torzi because they know that they're trying to save now and they've got the information as to where they are, so they walk in toward the palace. Torzi comes out of it, expecting there to be pressure. Frozen good for one, taken down. All guns drops and a 13th round for Liquid. That might be, that might be like the, 
one of the group stages. I think FaZe is worried us in a couple group stages as well, but... Yeah, I mean, certainly this this extra time that Team Liquid has had, I mean, they mentioned in all the interviews, the, the, the lag of kind of catching up individually, shaking the rust off, coming over to Europe after a long time away. They, they've certainly they've certainly got over that, it seems, in this series. Not nine out of 10 weeks on the road. They've already beat Cloud9 head-to-head -to, -head to get into the playoffs. That would be one of the two possibilities they play. FaZe didn't look very sharp in their game. Again, ooh, nice nade. Naf's gonna catch Frozen before he can get back inside of the palace. JDC on the boost. Can't get the headshots. Two players to fire at him. It's Naf again with the kill. But yeah, FaZe looks shaky, obviously, in their game against Complexity. I think Liquid's in a good position to potentially make the finals at the very least. And then it's G2, Vitality. Who are you going against on the other side? Outsiders? I mean, there's, there's a lot of shakiness on there as well. I'd have, I'd have two counter arguments to that because uh, I mean I don't think you've said anything that's necessarily false. Just how much credit you want to put into it? Because I know uh, you're speaking with some of the Liquid guys after the uh, after Cloud the Cloud9 Nine Nine game, they mentioned especially on Inferno, you could feel like they, they said they could really kind of feel that Cloud9 was playing like they didn't have anything to play for because well, they already they, secured that first seed. That is true, They're, and playoffs are always different. But the point is mentally and looking statistically, they they've proven they can beat them. That's yeah, all you need to sure. know. Like that, that that is all you need to look at going into that game. Take the context out of it and say, hey, we can win and then the the phase one I, I, I spoke with Kerrigan just very 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 briefly outside and just kind of joked with him a little bit I was like yeah, man, you guys had a rough rough start here in these uh, these playoffs you had a tough time with complexity what's going on and he was he was like yeah first map was really bad from us uh, but the second map he was like I thought we played we played well and we had some good ideas See, just, I, what are you supposed to do when Grim has that performance so I said the same thing to him and he just said calculated <laughs> yeah. yeah all under control <laughs> calculated I was yeah. like all right Kerrigan have a nice day <laughs> sure. yeah, get out I'm not having any further conversation with you. No, but we know FaZe is a hard team to put away, but that would certainly be a, a really cool semifinal. I mean, I think both those, I think a repeat of the Group D final match to get Liquid into the playoffs against Cloud9 would be sick in the semifinals, and against the number one team in the world, it would obviously be sick as well. That'll be I've, really, I've really fun. I've never predicted NA to win an event before, so that's why they're also going to win. It's not even during time. the Grand Slam run? I bet you did. I okay, bet you're lying. Oh, you're right. I am lying. lying. Okay, that's only because they had twists then, though, sure. right? So. That's different. Ooh. That's a miss and a half. I'm surprised. Ducking yeah. under the cross arrow, so he couldn't land that one. That's a very valuable miss. That would have really opened things up, and that's Dexter. He missed Dexter, and Dexter comes around to get the opening kill into Yakinder, who's challenging up the ramp. So what a great benefit that would have been. If, if OC gets that kill, Yakinder picks up the aggression and takes a lot of real estate at that B bomb site. So look at the way that one miss changes the nature of this round. OC. I was going to say, he's going to fire at that eventually, try and get a wall bang. Hasn't landed it so far. He's got to be careful. Nade comes out. He actually runs forward. Realizes it was bouncing deeper. Good read. Good play. And he'll take minimal damage as a result of that. But they are still down a man and down on the HP as well. Torzi is positioned accordingly with the AWP to watch down the ramp. Yeah, Mouse knows this hit is coming here. They know that they know the presence and the pressure from Team Liquid is here outside the B bomb site. So they've rotated a third player over. Frozen will be here very quick as well. Z. He's blinded. And he was throwing an incendiary of his own, so he's going to take damage from those flames. Nav's got one kill back, make it two. Not done just yet. They're only down a man. They've got access to the site. 30 seconds. He's going to go for the plant. Oh, he's so weak, though. 42 tagged through as he tries to get into position. He's going to swap it over to the M4 and hold the angle. Just wait for the peak because OC is creeping with the AWP already set and ready to take out Frozen. Nav falls. He didn't go far enough ahead. And the op is about to be completely surrounded. So he goes to the AK, gets it in time, sees the shoulder, and knows Frozen's the next that's likely gonna peek him. Looks for the headshot, but Frozen wins that duel instead. It'll be another round for Maus to go at least 14 to eight. Yeah, that's that's well done for Maus. A really good, really good benefit off the opening kill from Dexter, playing that very patiently. OC almost made that interesting at the end of the day, but a plant and a couple of kills is gonna help out. Still so much money to burn through. Maus is, Maus is gonna have to make this comeback happen on, on, on nightmare mode. They have to burn through so many rounds rounds from Team Liquid, who can obviously crack into bomb sites even with the man disadvantage. Great double kill from Naf. Mal's bring themselves to within six. This is a must-win map for Mal's, or else they are eliminated from ESL Pro League Season 16. Smoke down and frozen into it. It's going to catch out Elise. So another great start from Maus. But still the three toward the long A position. Torzi staring at that. Shoulder peeking each and every step closer. Oh, the timing of that is mental. Timing of that is absolutely crazy that he's given up the angle. He might have had a freebie. Now the bomb is very far back. Liquid is just looking for an opening. 
Yekinder's trying to provide it. Utility going to be spent to create a distraction. He forces out some counter nades. He's kept three players at this B bomb site, which is giving space. But remember, he's a, he, I think he's got to be the one to come all the way back and get the bomb eventually. Yeah, the problem being is that they've just thrown a Molotov into B, and look at that. They know this is likely a fake because of that timing. They're going to send Naf back for the bomb, but they've already started the rotations over toward A. And Nitro's barely inside of the site. OC as well. Good smokes in play. Those will be gone by the time the bomb arrives, though. So they've got to be dead on with the kills. They've got to find the opening and get position forward. They've got to fight against the current of the CTs rotating toward them. Naf's going to start that JDC down, but Dexter has the trade. And the bomb drops once more. 30 seconds left. Zertion trying to flank around. Nitro slides to find him. And OC with the AWP desperately trying to rattle off shots that'll fake him out of position. But he hasn't spotted anyone yet, and he's putting himself in no man's land with each and every step back toward the bomb, and that gives Torzi an easy shot. I wonder if OC just backs off and saves this. There's 15 seconds, and you're going to win in a 1v3. Yeah, Team Liquid not able to find the kills, and obviously the smokes and the utility subsides, and they have nothing to block off the vision of the Mouse player. So a good recovery or a good rotation from Mouse. Leash picked off. Yakinder not able to make a play at the B bomb site, and it's an easy mop up from there. Two players go down, and Mao's starting to get a little bit more comfortable with the money behind these buys. So starting to be able to bust out utility, not under pressure of being reset. And it's a five round lead for Team Liquid. This is playing out very similar to Inferno, Matt, where Liquid got out to that kind of a huge, a pretty big lead early on, and Mao's comes kind of like clawing back, but it's just too far away to make the comeback in its entirety. Let's see if, I mean, Malzum, they, they might be able to do it here. They could change, change their fortunes. A lot of utility spent from the defense early on. In the B hallway, Yakinder gonna swing with Flash to open up some map presence. Dexter trying to get shots through Molotov down. They catch out Zertion, he only got Nitro. So it's a one for one that'll thin the defense and they've got lots of time to try and exploit it. And I believe Nitro even threw that ball top, which basically prevented Mouse from being able to crunch those halls. That was the play they were trying to set up is that push out of Jaguar and then the push down B ramp as well. The Molotov holds back one prong of that, which makes for a nice one for one trade. Molotov bounced in. Still trying to fire through the spam in the site. Can't get any chip damage from it. Smoke and swallow to the second long lane. Torji gets immediately forward of that, though. So if they think it's going to be open, it's not. He makes no mistake on the shot against Ekender. He's even going to go back out for more with the flash. He spotted it. Couldn't do anything with it. Now they know he's inside of the site. Close OC. Wants that battle, but he's not going to get it. Look at Elise, though, on this. Problem is, that's not the bomb. The bomb has to go through middle, and that means going to Donut. So Elise needs to turn and clear this. He does. Good read, good play. The only place they could have got cut off from, and the bomb will get past the nav, so OC can hold rotations on the op. But they're going to be back through CT spawn on this, and that is a tight angle for John to play. Elise inside of that palace is stuck against the wall. If they peek even once, he's going to be in trouble, but now he knows they're not. He knows they're going towards CT lane. He's going to try to oh, no. this. All three. All three in front. They turn. They see it, but it's still going to distract enough. He doesn't quite get the lineup on it. 15 HP, just trying to get away. That gives OC time. And now a one-on-one. -on -one. Dexter goes to the op. It's an op versus op till you drop because it's going to be the bomb, and it's going to be Dexter trying to hold it. Smoke still down, tapping, forcing OC to try and fire, but they go aggressive toward each other, and Dexter's not going to get the opportunity. OC knows he's not on it, and the time's going to be too far gone because he is leaving the site to try and find this kill that he's not going to get anyway, and it's serious point for Liquid. Stone cold from OC. I don't know if he saw him get off the bomb, if he was able to see it underneath that smoke like the way he got the first kill but uh, Dexter just not even able to bluff it in any meaningful way what a round again you want to talk about mid-round impact that Elysia's had in this series another one clearing JDC at the very least if Elysia doesn't get that kill it's a one for one and this round is completely different that is a huge frag to allow the bomb access into the site well done from Elysia in the clutch or excuse me OC in the clutch 59, six chances, six chances, a trade out mid. Shot from Dexter though, again. Look at this kills right now, the damage, how is it this? Every single time a team is left with Eagles, they're making it work. And Dexter's position is so strong. 
This is this has got to go another round, surely. Yep. No one would have ever expected that push from Dexter. That's that's a play being made out of the desperation of the scenario, which is why it catches Liquid off guard because there's no real logic to it. That one is just we're down so much. I have to make a play. And Dexter's done it. Couldn't win the clutch, but he's got them at least a tenth round. He's got them at least double digits, and he's got them at least within five. Money's starting to get tight for Team Liquid as well. So the next round could be breathing room for Mouse. Liquid might decide to make it an economy round to get some funds back in their favor. OC's trying to find something desperately, but Nitro with low HP, if OC doesn't provide everything, Nitro is just going to sit here the entire time, and I think now we're going to get a save call. Shout out Nitro to at least keep this op in play. That's a dangerous push. If OC just gets one kill, all of a sudden this round opens up, and actually that might prompt them to go for it. OC's going to consider it. Nitro is getting closer. You're absolutely right. There's time on this. Two on B, still waiting for a crossfire. This all falls to JDC. Yeah, one mistake. One mistake, and look how far the rotation is away. If OC can open this up, he needs to go now because the op still has an opportunity to save. OC, he's clearing so many angles. What do you expect behind the site? He's going to give himself away, though. He's going to give himself away. Easy lineup, unfortunately, for them. The timing is just not there. Almost would have been better to just dry on that. Just yeah. go straight in. It's it's hard call to make. You've got so many angles coming in there, don't you? And I don't think you'd expect him to be positioned there. 15-10. There's the opening kill from Dexter. The deagle shot, the push through smoke to follow up on a NAF. Closing out the round from JDC. And indeed, we have Team Liquid passive. Everyone's in Mushroom Land. Oh, there's not even Mushroom. There, there, there's Mushroom. There. I hope both teams have fun, Jason. <laughs> that's, that's cute. <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> Disgusting. I want one team to cry. <laughs> Why, Jason? Come on. I guess it shows the passion. Passion, dreams broken and shattered. Well, Mal's unwilling to let that be them at this point, despite that they're one round away from being knocked out of EPL season 16. All right, you fancy, huh, Naf? Okay. Do it, baby. Mm. He's trying to get it again. He's like, please. He just got it, didn't he? Uh, no, there's another one. Yeah, he does that. Okay. Well. Here we go. Hold on to your butts. Nice thing for Team Liquid is this is a retake setup for Mal's towards the A bomb site. That's not nice for Liquid, but if they can at least get the bomb planted, that's job done. Although JDC does run through the smoke, steps up, gets position, and a powerful position for the M4 to clean them up. So Plant is denied access, even though they were passive to begin with. All right. 15 still for Liquid then. See if they can get across the finish line this round. Oh, it's onto the weapons. Torzi's still on the op. And everyone on Liquid with weapons, bar Nitro, who just has the Deagle to work with. And they're waiting for a chance for anyone to get aggressive in there. Both sides of this, they are still pushing up toward potentially Jaguar push, the Jaguar peak. Torsi's off in standard position. That's a decent spray from Dexter. Takes Defender down to 30. And I think they heard the hits as well. That's the other benefit of shooting the silencer in those situations is that your gun's silent enough. You can hear the enemy getting tagged, so that's why the nade went out. Ooh, here's a pop flash. Excuse me, smoke. Deep down towards Devil Doors. The pop flash to follow it up. And OC's going to shut it down anyways. Had the lineup before the smoke bloomed and able to grab one blind. Look at Team Liquid this time, not giving any indication, not using utility to get in a position. They're taking some risks, some liberties. JDC not caught. There's the swing. Important trade from NAF. Urshin, good reaction. Catching Ekinder now. He was low enough on HP, but even still, massive kill, because if this goes to a four on two, it's 
Pretty much over but instead, remember, though. Remember, Team Liquid's taking control of the other side of the map. They're taking control of the A bomb site. The bomb being spotted is going to pull Torji back. That's actually a huge, huge piece of information. Nitro still inside of the site looking for an angle to fall in his favor. It's going to be a flank instead for me because it has to be in Nitro's caught out Torzi. Now they've got control of this site as well, and they have absolutely no indication as to where Naf is. He may only have 9 HP, but that's not going to matter if they're not looking his direction. And now that the bomb's down, he's going to start making his move through CT spawn. And his teammates will stay hidden as best as possible until he arrives. OC in the cubby knows they're inside the cave. At least one. Now he's going to hear two. He's already got the first shot. Looks for Frozen. He can't get the second kill, but it's still a two on one. And Frozen has no idea where to look as he taps the bomb. Nitro could easily pop out on 100 HP. And it's Naf with the.